Productivity is important in the public sector because the things the public sector is dealing with are important. We're talking about things like kids from disadvantaged families having a, you know, the chance to uh, succeed in school, or elderly people having the services at home that they need to age with dignity under their own roof, or you know, public infrastructure, uh, keeping pace with rapidly growing and spreading urbanization in our, in our cities. Um, these are important problems. They're problems that the marketplace can't solve or won't solve. They're problems that only the public service can solve and has to do so with limited resources. That's why productivity is important in the public sector. So given the importance of these problems and given the fact that we have finite resources with which to solve them, the question is what can an individual public service manager do to address productivity? The answer is a lot of people are already doing a lot of things. You know, there's corporate plans in place, there's job descriptions in place, there's value statements in place. There's a whole lot of documentation intended to help employees to understand what their role is and what they're there to, to deliver. But unfortunately, those things, whilst they're necessary, they're not sufficient. And they're not sufficient for one very simple reason. The context is changing very quickly around us. Our information has a half-life. What we knew to be a fact yesterday may not be fully true today. So managers need to find time-efficient ways to share information with people. And that's a tough challenge because there's a lot on their plate. Um, it starts at the top, really. It starts with managers in executive teams being open, listening, acknowledging, confronting dealing with issues at that level in the organization so that there's a clear shared view at that level. So often when we're dealing with managers at the middle level, for example, we find that they themselves look up to their managers for support, for direction, for clarity. So employees at the end of the day need to understand what they're there to do and how it connects with the bigger picture. And as I said, this is a changing story and managers need to be able to f help employees to operationalize the direction of the business. And um, the only way to do that is through dialogue. Um, and it doesn't need to be presentations that are structured from on high. Q&A sessions, lunchtime sessions, um, tagging on to a staff conference, some opportunity for some conversation. These simple unstructured events can be enormously helpful certainly to the employee, but also to the manager, who often struggles with not very um, clear, helpful information about what's going on in the organization. So most employees want to be able to do a good job. They want to deliver customer service. They want to add value in whatever way that's measured in an organization. The problem often is that they are given the motherhood statement and not helped to understand what that really looks like in my work in my role. That's where the dialogue comes in. That's where managers can make a difference by helping people to understand the strategy, understand the direction in the context of what they're doing.